Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the top three hardest specs to play in Classic Wrath. This video I've been requested to do multiple times, and truth be told, the answer is pretty much agreed upon across the board from all Wrath players. Uh, these three specs are kind of the default uh, most hardest specs to play. Uh, there isn't a whole lot of argument here, and I do hope that you enjoy this content. Um, well, let's jump into it. And in no particular order, Feral is definitely one of our hardest classes to play in Wrath of the Lich King. Now the reason being, of course, is because Feral is constantly maintaining so many different things. You're keeping up uh, Fairy Fire, Mangle, Rake, Rip. You're keeping up Savage Roar as often as you can. Uh, you're using things like Fairy Fire and Nature's Grasp to try to proc Omen of Clarity. You're even using your Bark Skin to pop Omen, Omen of Clarity. There are so many things that you're doing in every single global decision um, that Feral ends up becoming a very overwhelming class for a lot of people. This also means that it's also one of the most rewarding classes to play as Feral ends up having one of the highest skill gaps of any class in the game. Between all the various uh, bleeds and buffs that you're maintaining on yourself, you are also the um, regular target for Hysteria. So getting to be the boy who gets Hysteria while you're rolling Berserk, while all your cooldowns are going, while you're trying to snapshot a big bleed, um, Feral just ends up becoming a very complex class to play. And the complexity oftentimes leads to an addiction. Uh, you will often find Feral Druids who just main feral druid and only feral druid because of the uh, complexity the style of the class the fantasy of it and just the fact that they can sheer put in the man hours to find themselves on the top of the dps list um, ends up being one of the the most rewarding classes to play in the entire expansion ferals go on to become this uh bleed um, and cooldown reliant class for the rest of Ra or for the rest of wow completely Blizzard definitely took a note uh, jumping from Burning Crusade to Wrath and noticed that Feral was in a good spot and tried to maintain that type of um, class damage profile for their entirety of their career. Now, of course, Ferals need a lot of help in Dragonflight and Shadowlands, but today in Wrath, Feral is actually one of the best classes in the game. You're oftentimes only bringing one to the raid, but that one token Feral is a must and just a treat to have now next up is going to be our enhanced shamans i absolutely love enhanced shamans there are so many things that add to the layers upon enhanced shaman on top of the fact that of course everyone knows spell hands and whether or not spell hands is a thing in classic wrath is another story enhanced to this day has no different uh rotation to spell hands it is all the same all you're essentially doing is popping CDs like Spirit Wolves, getting a big snapshot on your Fire Elemental with all CDs that you have there. Uh, you're spamming things like Storm Strike and Fire Nova, keeping up uh, flame, or your Flame Shock on your target, and doing pretty much everything you can to remove Lava Lash from your rotation entirely, as that uh, damage, as the damage from uh, Lava Lash doesn't really do a whole lot. This ends up meaning that on top of all of these things, you also have your Lightning Shield, uh, keeping that up 100% uptime because Lightning Shield does a lot of damage in this game. Uh, every time you get five sacks of Maelstrom, you're wanting to spin that and consume it immediately. There are so many things going on uh, with Enhance, it ends up becoming a decision every time you have a global. What are you gonna spend that next global on? Is there a proc that you just got? Is there a a buff that fell off is there something that you need to refresh do you need to refresh totems are you the bloodlust person uh there are so many things going on with enhance um in every single global decision that the class just ends up becoming a absolute joy to play it's not one of those like a frost dk where you're constantly spamming obliterate and frost strike instead you're spamming a bunch of buttons but it could be a million different buttons that you're pressing this is a very very rewarding uh class to play um, definitely has a high, high skill gap between a just a meteor enhanced player and a uh, top tier enhanced player. Of course, at the end of the day, people will uh, try to make their one button macros for enhanced, but there's just truthfully way too much happening uh, with enhanced for you to be able to break it down in just a one button macro unless you're standing at a patchwork fight. Even then, I don't buy it. 
Um, this class is extremely rewarding, um, definitely a little niche. Uh, you do not have to have a enhanced shaman in your uh, raid comp, although I do recommend it. Uh, this class just ends up becoming one of the most satisfying classes to play. Very difficult at the, in the day in, day out, but once you learn it, you'll love it. I guarantee it. And last but of course not least are our Affliction Warlock Buddies. Now this is the multi-dot king, one of the best DPS in the entire game for pretty much every single fight. Uh, this class is just extremely well kitted and a class that you likely will end up trying to stack a fair amount in your raids. Um, what makes Affliction Lock so fun is just the fact that you're tracking so many different things between your unstable affliction, your corruption, your curse, and your haunt, and all the procs that you have running that you want to uh, take use of with your snapshots is really, really important. Uh, affliction Warlock is your token guy who's going to be receiving um, your power infusion, most likely, unless you're giving it to a fire mage. Um, he's also gonna uh, likely be on the receiving end of your first tricks and hopefully an execute tricks as well. Um, these tricks are really important, and when you're being funneled so many CDs, you have to step it up. This is a class that um, is rewarded for good play and is not only rewarded in the damage meters, but rewarded in external cooldowns as well. Um, what makes Affliction Lock so hard to play is all the maintaining and of all these things while also not pulling threat. Uh, Affliction Warlock is definitely one of our classes that has uh, potential threat issues in Wrath if played right. Uh, as long as you are calling out for salvations or have a salvation uh, plan moving into the fight, then you'll probably be fine. But the better you get at Affliction Lock, the more damage you'll do. Uh, it is just that simple. Um, between all the dots that you have and the fact that one of your dots has a travel time with Haunt um, and all of these things that we talked about, Affliction Lock really is one of the best designed classes in Wrath. Um, there's a huge, huge, huge skill ceiling, and you'll see why people absolutely just love to one-trick Affliction Warlock. Now, all of the classes we talked about today were in no particular order. All three are definitely some of the hardest classes to play in Wrath. And if you disagree with me, that's totally fine. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you think that there is a harder class or healer or tank to play. Um, to me, these three were kind of the default choice. The uh, most agreed upon choice and definitely um, uh, have a lot of reasons to be difficult with a high skill ceiling. Um, I absolutely love all three of these classes and I do hope that y'all have learned something today from this video. I tried to keep it shorter than most. Um, I know I tend to ramble and I probably didn't get as much into detail with all of these classes as you, as you maybe would have hoped. If you want guides for any one of these classes, I will try to provide some type of guide link um, in the description below for all three of these classes, at least one that I can uh, reliably endorse. If you have any questions about uh, Feral, Enhance, or Affliction Warlock, uh, you can feel free to join my Discord or try to ask me there. I'll leave a link to my Discord below. And again, just thanks guys so much for your support. Uh, the channel's really been blowing up a lot lately, and that's all thanks to you guys. Um, every time you click on a video and watch it, or comment, or like it, it does wonders for me. Seriously, you have no idea how much I, I love it. Uh, thanks so, so, so much, guys, and peace out.